Hey, what's up, guys? Coach Bobby here. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. I'll make this quick so you can go and enjoy your evening. So tomorrow's Monday, guys. And if I'm right about you, you are lamenting tonight. You hate Sunday nights because that means another Monday, another work week. But let me tell you why that might be or is uh, the wrong perspective. All right. So if you're trying to be better and trying to grow and trying to live BTY as I hope you are, as I try to do, then every week is a new opportunity to chase greatness. Every week is a new opportunity to go after what you want in life, right? With some vigor, with some passion. So I get it. You know, you've been, you've been staying up late. You've been sleeping in for two days, Saturday, Saturday and Sunday. And now it's back to the 8 a.m. work week. I get it. But let me tell you two reasons why that perspective is disrespectful to our Lord, to your God, to my God, to Jesus, right? Because you, you, you believe one of two things, right? If you are average and not chasing a dream, if you are average and not trying to be great this week today, if you are, if you are average and not trying to get better and get every bit of, of, of capability, every bit of talent, every bit of, of ability out of yourself, you are doing one of two things, right? You are either of the belief that God didn't make you great. So the God that you believe made the heaven and earth, the God that you believe loves all of his children, the God that you believe makes everyone great or gives everyone the ability to make a big difference in this world. For some reason, he made you average. For some reason, he made you uh, a C on a scale from, from F to A. For some reason, he left you behind and, and gave everybody else the ability to be great, the opportunity to be, to be wonderful, to be amazing. So you either believe that or you believe, like I think you do, like you say you do, that God has amazing power to give all of us an opportunity to be great, to give all of us an opportunity to live our dreams, to give all of us an opportunity to give back to the world and, and leave an imprint on this world before you go. And if that's the case, then you are being disrespectful by saying, you know what, I know you made me great, but I ain't chasing it. I know you made me to be an A, but I'm okay being a C. I know you made me to be great, but I'm okay being average. Right? So it's one of those two things. Either you don't believe he can do it and has done it for you, or you believe that he, that he made you great and you're okay being where you're at. Right? So that's the deal. So tomorrow morning when you wake up, I want you to decide what you want to do. Either you want to tell God that you don't want to be what he wants you to be, or you tell God, look, I know there's more in me. I know you made me to be great and I have not been doing my part of the equation. I have not been living up to what you made me to be. So whatever time is left on this earth for me, Lord, I'm going to live up to what you made me to be. I owe it to you. I owe it to my, my mom and my dad. I owe it to my, my wife or my husband. I owe it to my children. I owe it to people around me who follow me, whoever it is, not, not me, it's about you. We owe it to everybody around us. We owe it to our God, to our families, to get every bit of what we have in us out. All of it. All of it. Not some of it. Not most of it. All of it. So when I die, I'm going to die on empty. I'm going to live full. I'm going to dump out everything that God gave me. Right? Am I going to screw up? Yeah. Am I going to be lazy sometimes? Yes. But my approach is going to be every day I'm getting better. So BTY ain't some fancy monster that I, I, I put out there and hashtag BTY. I live by that. So Sundays are different for me. Yeah, tomorrow I get up at 4, at 4 o'clock tomorrow morning, 4 a.m. to be ready to, to, to train people at 6. So my day starts tomorrow at 4 a.m. So Mondays for me are really hard to get up. But I approach it as if it's another opportunity for me to be who God wants me to be who God made me to be. So yeah, it's one of two things. And think about it. Either, again, either you don't think God gave you the ability to be great, right? And if that's the case, then stop, then stop saying you do. Stop saying how great God is, how, 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 uh, how fair he is, how he gives everybody love, how he loves all his children equally. Stop saying that if you don't believe it, right? So either you believe that, that, that for some reason he made you not great, or he did make you great, like I know he did, and you decided not to live up to it. 
right? So th if that's the case, then tomorrow, let's decide differently. Tomorrow, let's start the week differently than the last several weeks. Let's start tomorrow knowing we have a chance to be great, a chance to be whatever God has inside of us. I know there's something you want to do. I know you don't, you don't know or think you're living up to your ability of all you have inside of you. I know it. So let's start tomorrow off on the right, on the right foot and get after it. All right? So I love you guys. That was short. Um, go enjoy your Sunday night. Go to bed early. But tomorrow, instead of waking up and lamenting and being, and being upset that it's Monday, don't go into the office saying it's Monday. I know it's Monday. But that's five days at least to get better. Right? Don't look forward to Friday starting on Monday. Take care of Monday. Capture Monday. As if it's the last Monday of your life. As if it's the last chance for you to regroup and be all that you can be. And get after it. All right, guys. Love you. Have a good week. Bye, Sonia. Bye-bye.